You see Instagram worthy, TikTok worthy farms. People have five or six chickens. And so they'll go through there every single day and they'll take a little pooper scooper and they'll poop up however many turds those chickens decided to poop out that day. That's not something that's going to work for me. I just simply do not have the time. So if you do look in on you know YouTube or you do some research and stuff, you see a lot of different ways um, of people putting uh, stuff inside of their run to keep the chickens clean, to keep it from smelling and all that stuff. You know, a lot of different reasons why you do it. There's a ton of benefits from doing it and you definitely should do it. Um, but the material is really kind of what it comes down to. Like what's the best, shh, what's the best material that you can use? So you've got, so you've got a lot of people who, um, you know, you see these kind of uh, Instagram worthy or TikTok worthy farms where, you know, people have five or six chickens and they'll put sand down or they'll put some pea gravel down and that works very, very good. Um, so they'll go through there every single day and they'll take a little pooper scooper and they'll poop up, you know, however many turds those uh, chickens decided to uh, poop out that day. And so it takes, I don't know how long it takes for a lot of them to do it, you know, but they only have a few chickens. so. That's not something that's gonna work for me. I just simply do not have the time to go through and scoop out all the little poop. If I have to waste that time doing that kind of stuff, I'm not getting other stuff done that needs to be done every day. Now, I'm not saying there's anything necessarily wrong with that. If you wanna put that time commitment in and you have that time, you know, a lot of these you know, you know, homesteaders or farmers or whatever that they, that they are, these, these people that are going back to land and whatnot, you know, oftentimes they're not really worried about, they, they, they look at this, you know, it's more of, of a hobby for them. So they don't really look at the cost in it as well. You know, how much time commitment that is. <clears throat> it's relaxing for them and you know, there's nothing wrong with that. There's really, you notice I'm just saying it's different. It's not necessarily bad. It's not necessarily the, the best way to do it. It's just a way to do it. It's just another way to do it. Another downfall with, you know, the pea gravel and the sand and stuff is obviously, uh, unless you can just get it somewhere um, for free, which I haven't found anything like that yet, you know, without going against Department of Natural Resources and stuff like that, pulling sand out of the river and stuff is very frowned upon. Um, so you'll have to spend a little bit of money. And you know, up front it lasts forever, so you got that going for you. You can throw that in your, your run there and that'll last that'll last your lifetime, you know, it's not gonna break down. But what, what I see in, in, in the problem with that, with, with my method that I use, I use a lot of scraps. I use a lot of uh, free food that I get from dumpsters or stuff that we've just thrown away. You know, even just like uh, grass clippings and whatnot. All that stuff pretty much goes to my chickens and they, they pick through that and they eat what they want and it kind of breaks down. And so those rocks and that sand never break down. So all that stuff is on top of that. And, and, it, and when you go to scrape that all off, obviously it doesn't work very well because you're scraping up half of the, the rocks and the sand and stuff. So it's, you're making a mess. So what I have found that does work and it is actually free to us because um, the electric company goes, they cut trees every year um, in the summer and they have a bunch of wood chips. They you know don't have nowhere to go with them and it's cost effective for them to just drop them off. And so I can call the electric company once a month and have them drop a huge pile of chips in our, in our yard, I can use the, the tractor and I can use those chips. I use those chips for a whole bunch of different reasons. And so we're gonna put, be putting them in the chicken coop or the chicken run today. And what's nice about these chips is they do break down. For, first of all, the nicest thing about them is that they're free. And the second thing is that they do break down over time. So we can throw these scraps on there. The chickens can go through there and they can peck through and they can get those scraps. And as you can see, I've, I've kind of posted some of these uh, wood chips by the door that we're gonna be we're gonna be putting these into the run, and they're already going through this. They really like to look underneath of it. They like, you know, those little bugs or whatever that go underneath of there to hide. They they see them and they pick through them and they eat them, and so they just really like these wood chips. And the wood chips will break down over time, and so once a year, instead of every single day for 20, 30 minutes or whatever it'll take, uh, probably for me longer since we have so many uh, chickens we'll have to go through and we'll have to pick out all those little droppings. Um, so instead of doing that every single day, we'll make a commitment once a year. I mean, even probably get away with going a little bit longer, but once a year we'll come in here, we'll scrape all of the bedding out of there, all the wood chips, all of that broken down food and compost and all of that uh, chicken poop. And we'll take that out there and we'll put that in the compost pile and further break it down for our garden the following year. And you know, 
if the uh, chicken run gets so bad where they have a bunch of chicken droppings and all that on top of the mulch, we just go in there and put another layer of mulch on and then they can go through there, they can pick through it again and it keeps the smell down and it keeps their feet nice and dry and comfortable and they have something that they can walk on so they're not walking on the mud like they have been doing since I've, I just cleaned this out. I uh, got some rain and the ducks are in there with them so they like to make a mess in the water so they have a, a big mess there. So we're going to be adding these chips today to the run. We're going to see how they like it. All right, so I got everything out here and they're gonna be spreading it themselves with their feet. They're gonna be kicking it all over the place. So I ain't too worried about getting it completely even. The last thing I wanna do is I wanna get this tire in here and uh, we're gonna get some sand and we'll give them a little place to kind of do some, uh, give them dust baths and uh, get some grit from there. And uh, you know, keep in mind that these chickens are uh, free range for the majority of the day. And so they have, you know, several acres that they're they're all over the place. They're eating different grass and different, uh, getting nutrients and bugs and all that stuff from all over the place. And you know they have access to the driveway, so they have grit and you know all that stuff. This is just kind of a supplement. Um, and I'm looking ahead to the winter of the months where they're going to be inside soon, and they're not going to have, you know, near as much as uh, access to the outside. This one, that one's my favorite. That one's your favorite? Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think that's my least favorite because she always goes to the barn to lay her eggs. It's very irritating because I can never well, I mean, find her. I like her color. I like her color. Oh, you like her color. Okay. I'll give you that. She's she's pretty, but sometimes it's the prettiest ones that are give you the most trouble. You know what well, I mean? My second favorite one is like that one. Yeah. She's really pretty. Do you know what kind that is? That's an Easter egg. Wow. Wow. Um, so I'm going to get this tire. I'll get it because it's real muddy. But you want to get this bag of sand maybe? And see if we can, uh, we'll just fill it full of sand. So it's kind of funny about this is I got the door open. They have access to the outside. There's no food in here or anything like that, but they're still in here. They're getting into these new wood chips because anytime you do anything new, it's like they just, they got to get over there. They got to scrape it around. Come on in here, sweetie. Got it? You are strong. All right, set her, just drop her right there. Yep. Perfect. All right, we're just gonna pour that in there. I'll cut it if you want to pour it. Oh, that was gross. <laughs> Still a little muddy in there, a little soggy underneath. Is it? Is it poop? Uh, some of it is gonna be poop. Yeah, probably barefoot's not the footwear we yeah, would probably I'm choose for doing this. You. Okay, probably a good idea. Need all of that. There you go. I'll dry out. Give them something to take a bath in. So when you step on this, when we step on it, like my daughter was stepping on it earlier, it's still pretty soggy underneath of there as far as the mud. But because they're so light, they can walk right over that. Really don't bother them too much. But um so I'm hoping this cuts down again on the smell and the big thing is just keeping their uh, feet dry and uh, clean so because they're getting in the eggs and they're getting them muddy and nasty and we definitely don't want that if we want to sell them or even eat them I don't want a bunch of mud all over them so this will keep them nice and clean a lot more sanitary keep the mud off of their feet and off of the eggs and so I really like I really like this material so it'll break down over time this will get more muddy and because it'll turn you know to basically soil or compost or whatever so we'll just put more and more on it just keep going and we can go basically until the top of these railroad ties which is almost five or six inches worth of compost and so when we get to that point we'll just scrape it all back out of here put it in a compost pile and we'll put new wood chips down there that 
maybe takes um, two hours at most, two hours for the whole year to keep their, their pen nice, clean, and sanitary and keep them out of the mud. To me, that's a lot more feasible than 20 minutes or whatever it would take per day trying to trying to keep the little nuggets out of the sand and whatnot. That's just, it's too much work, it's too much energy that I'm expending. I gotta be doing other stuff and I got too many hens to be dealing with all that, so. And it doesn't get nearly as dirty as a lot of runs because um, as I said before, they're out most of the day, so they're pooping outside. The only time they're in here, you know, a little bit in the morning and a little bit at night. And then, you know, of course all night they're they're sitting in their roost, which is another story and another clean cleaner. So next I'll be cleaning out the chicken coop. And I gotta basically take everything out of there. We use pine shavings in the chicken coop. Uh, I've got some nest boxes that have actually fallen apart. So we gotta do revamp the nest boxes. So I got a lot of stuff to do on it. I'll probably be doing like a whole series kind of or whatever. Several different videos in a row of doing the chickens um, because just got so much stuff to get done to get them in shape and ready for the dog days of summer or whatever ahead. Thanks Layla for the help today. You're no, they're eating the worms. Oh. Well, chickens like worms. Birds like worms. I think that's okay, isn't it? No. Well, second best, well, third best. Yeah. Are they? No, insects, yeah. <coughs> so I've got some scraps here, and I want to kind of do a time lapse to show you guys, like, how fast they can actually go through all these scraps and just annihilate them. So they'll eat them, poop them out on the wood chips, you know, put on new wood chips. It all just kind of like is a nice little cycle. It, it, it just works out pretty good. So I'm gonna put this on a time lapse. So I wanna show you guys how fast they devour this stuff. So just in five minutes time, they kind of came in here, got basically everything except for these uh, radish tops, which <clears throat> not their favorite they'll come back though and uh, probably eat those up later on but with all this grass and stuff they're probably not all that appealing especially since there was like some meat and some uh some rice and stuff in there too and that's kind of their favorite thing 